Hey guys, welcome back to some more Pursuit of Five. We left off here on June 12th. I feel like I'm only moving one or two days every episode, but hopefully the pacing will change right after uh, we, we get the story moving a little bit. Um, so I'm supposed to meet Mr. Yoshi? Yes. Okay. Uh, today's Sunday. Did we go to drink Aujiru stuff? Hold on. So let's go to Shibuya Underground Walkway. Sunday, you get to drink the nuclear radiation. But I think I already did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mr. Yoshi. Thank you. The truth is, there will be cameras today. I'm not comfortable with that. Okay. Oh, wow. We're slowly getting more famous. Helping uh, Mr. Yoshi. The most important thing is, I. I'm not gonna lie. This is not the most interesting um, social link confidant. I really don't like it. It's pretty boring. <clears throat> Maybe we'll pick up later. Okay, we should be able to get a lot of interesting footage. It is no good tour after all. Advocate an overly optimistic policy only to lure in voters during the election season. That's how No Good Torah uh, thought and operated 20 years ago. Yeah. If you make a promise, you must keep it. If you make a mistake, you must atone for it. There are basic human principles that we have all learned from the youngest of ages. Boring. He's making some pretty good points, don't you think? And that's why it's easy. It's useless. <laughs> <laughs> Very disrespectful. Uh, yeah. I mean, nobody wants to record someone who's doing good. Like, come on. Politicians and doing good? Eh, it has to be dirty. It has to be the dirty things, right? The bad thing. Bad stuff. Um, however, I've been distancing myself from that. Do you think I've regained my confidence? Actually, I think you- yeah, I think a little bit. Don't let your guard down. The media doesn't matter. I think so. Well, oh. How much points did I get? Two? One? I think it was one. Ah. But I really think so. Like, I, I thought that he was getting more confident with his stuff. I must have, if you think so. However, I'll never forget the disgrace I suffered. The disgrace hey. I suffered. Can I tell you a story? I mentioned this before, but 20 years ago, I was lucky enough to become a diet member. I made a mistake. I said diet member was like um, part of the food like society where they control the food stuff. No, the diet, I think, is like the cabinet for um, the Japanese government. However, I wanted to be a politician for all the wrong reasons. I wanted to be in a position of power, and I was obsessed with a glamorous lifestyle. I thought only of being popular. I truly was no good Torah. Hey, learn from me. Don't let being a member of the diet be your only goal in life. Voters are much more sensible than we give them credit for. Being ambitious and striving to advance in this political world will change your outlook in life. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. I feel like next time we hang out with him. Oh, I thought I wasn't gonna level. Manipulation occasionally raises the chances of an enemy giving you a rare item. All right. What is that? Like through negotiations or killing the shadows? I think negotiation. You've given some good speeches, Mr. Yoshida. I can't believe you lost in the last two elections. Hmm? You're Kuramoto's grandson? That's correct. I'm his grandson, Benzo. Benzo Diaspine. <laughs> Does he know that you're here speaking with me now? I'm aware that you and my grandfather are on bad terms, but that doesn't concern me. This must be your secretary, huh? I heard he's been helping you a lot lately. What? You know about him. My grandfather was recently hospitalized, and you've become a topic of our conversations. I'd like to talk with you again sometime. I learned a lot from your speeches today. 
Hmm. Mr. Kuramoto spoke of me? That's rare. Matsushita. Sorry, I have to take care of some business. Let's wrap this up today. Uh. Oh, charm. Whoa! Three points of charm. Thank you, sir. I needed that. All I right. just leveled, so. Well, then, I'll see you again. <clears throat> yeah, this is not really that interesting. Not that interesting. Oh, be right back. It's got a doorbell. I come back to see this guy right in front of me. Like, what is this? Why are you here? Get back. Shoo. Fancy seeing you here. No. I, I didn't think we used the same station. Meeting here must be fate. Bro, back off. How are you doing? Eh, I'm sleepy. Oh? Did you stay up too late? Are you alright? Nah, I do like that response. It's honest and it keeps the conversation from dragging. Been getting interviewed a lot lately. Mm, I don't care. I actually don't care. If it isn't too much trouble, may I speak with you again sometime? Why'd you nod? Why did you nod? Why did you nod? I still can't believe last episode, Makoto. She just took that. She took it. Ah, uh, kids these days. Uh oh. So I handed the bill over. I haven't gone past this point, so everything is gonna be fresh for me. So I handed the bill over at a convenience store, and they told me they don't take foreign currency. But what I gave them was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know who. He had a b okay, I don't care. <laughs> I shudder to think that these will be the people shouldering Japan's economy. Oh shucks. Okay, paper money is issued by the Bank of Japan. Who issues the coins? The bank? The bank doesn't issue both of them? Oh, that's a good question. So, oh. The children's bank? Why would the children's bank be issuing coins? Credit union. The government? The. Okay, it's clearly not the Bank of Japan because he he said it right there. Who issues the coins? So that means it's either Children's Bank, Credit Union, or government. I don't think it's Children's Bank because I don't think such a thing exists. Credit union. I don't know what that is. The government, I'm pretty sure the government have power over the coins. They can even remove, because I remember in Canada, just recently they, they removed pennies. They phased them out, so that's the government. Exactly. Yes, sir, thank you. Coins are issued by the government. Government made both coins and paper. Ah, okay. Ooh, the economy fell into chaos because people were corrupted. Okay, that was nice going. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. All right. Okay. All right. I don't. I don't need to know anymore, Mr. Ushimaru. Thank you. All right. I wonder what our next, like, boss or mission will be. Nijima-san's looking for you. Could you hit- Really? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some- Wait, I don't understand. Jeez. Third floor, next to the library. Uh, I- Hey! Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? What could she want? Okay, so first... Wait! Hey, it changed! Akechi. So maybe Akechi's stuff will be our new mission. It's almost the rainy season. Yeah. Ah, oh, Nato. Okay, it's Monday. So if we don't have anything to do today, we may have to go to the bathhouse. 
but I'm pretty sure we'll be busy because of stupid Makoto. I don't want I don't want to do anything with uh, student council. The student council room. Okay. Third floor. Wait, where's the third floor? Library, library. So the library is here. Who's this? Ah, and we're gonna get grilled. We're getting grilled by Makoto. What does she want from me? Ah, earlier Hello. than expected. Oh, he's voiced. Okay, good. Have a seat. Hello. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? What? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. What? If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? How the hell? What could all this mean? Oh shit, Ryuji! We screwed up. No, we didn't. We never talk. It's Ryuji and Anne. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Oh, this is a big problem. Won't you tell me how you did it? Um. I mean, we're kind of booked. There's no point playing stupid. Ask the culprits. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? I would think that... I don't know, It'd actually. Be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. Uh, what? That's that's probably not gonna happen. You'll tell me, won't you? <laughs> Let me think about it. I believe that time would just be wasted. I I believe not. Oh, vibrate. Go ahead. It's not me. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak. <laughs> Spot to hold our <laughs> that idiot! Is that spe it's not it's not speakerphone though? It's not it's not as loud as always. Oh my this god! Perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? <laughs> I guess it can't be helped now. We're screwed, man. We're so screwed. Oh man, this is not good. Hmm? You here? Yeah, Ryuji, thanks, bro. Thanks for ruining everything. Is that girl a friend of yours? Oh. What the, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? Oh, uh, you see, um she, she kinda followed me here. I had him lead me here. Yeah. Ryuji Sakamoto? On to Kamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. <laughs> An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame. I love how Ryuji and Ad look at each other. It's like, did we screw up? Hell yeah, we did. While those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. Ooh, true, true. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. Uh, I... 
I know. Huh? Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She I mean, wants it's... to make a deal. Never mind, it, it is just. We're, we're doing justice. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. What? Who? It's gotta be your sister so or... So you're not saying it's impossible. Ooh, the principal? However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Oh, uh, all right. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. Okay. I'm down. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. Because of you, Ryuji. Blabbermouth. Open up that mouth of yours like a jackbox. Blah, 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 blah. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Yes, yeah, say it, Yusuke. Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? But you called me. I'm so sorry. <sighs> hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. Don't ask me, bro. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. Oh, that's true. You can kind of fake now. And even with that, there's no way they can prove our methods. Mm-hmm. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Oh, yeah. It would be rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... We have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. <laughs> so, we doing this? Uh, uh, if everyone wants to. Alright. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. What? That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. Yeah, man. You don't even have her uniform. What could she be scheming? Yeah, who's our next target? Ah, I bet you it's her sister. I'm thinking it's her sister. No, but she has, she has no... She has no problems with her, though. Oh, I'm so effing pissed. Oh, do we just gotta do what she says? Um, considering what has happened, it seems we have no other choice. I wonder whose heart the student council president would want us to change. Don't matter to me. But there might be a reason who, behind who she picks. Where have you been? I, I want to listen to her first. I wonder who it is. I'm curious myself. She mentioned how she wants us to prove our justice. <laughs> Don't go picking any fights. Do you understand, Ryuji? Why are you singling, singling me out? I ain't dumb. Uh, Alright. This is so not good, bro. So I couldn't even use the bathhouse. Oh, maybe I can. Hold on. Plants. Nice. Pretty healthy. I feel like I gotta buy. Hey. <sighs> what? Are you really forcing me to sleep? There's a lot of rain, by the way. June is full of rain. Man. Wow, we really can't do anything. I can't do anything. Lots of cash. I've got a job you can do. Oh, you know what we might have to do?
We might have to go downtown and take care of that, like, mafia business. I think the mafia is scamming students, remember? Hey! Who's this? Morning! Going to school now? I'm just heading home. The morning sun is too bright. Yeah, I was about to say, who are you again? You forget a lovely gal like me. I'm Ichiko Oya, a journalist. How could I forget that name? Oh yeah. <laughs> I interviewed you at the Madarami residence, remember? Oh yeah. Uh-huh, okay. Alright, I remember. Oh, okay. What was that? Like a Maya, a Maya Amano, GA ripoff. I was thinking you meant that show. I don't know. So, whose heart do you want us to change? Principal. A mafia boss. Oh my gosh. Are you stupid? Mafia? Are you stupid? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. Phishing scams? What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. What type of scams is it? I don't understand. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's their boss's name? Nobody knows. <laughs> The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? That's pretty big. I, I thought we were going to work on a celebrity or, you know, a mafia boss? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band of thieves. Okay, Makoto, I don't like the way or you're talking right now. Correct when he says you act without justice. I don't like the way you're talking right now. You're... <laughs> Can't you say something witty back at her? Yeah, here we go. Um, nah, this is ridiculous. I wouldn't say that. Give us the details. No, these are really weak responses. Ah, whatever. Why are you being so serious? Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. That's like the entire city. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. Oh my gosh, two weeks. I hope you don't let me down. Wow. Whoa, whoa, do you hear how bossy she is? Okay, I'm not she liking really Makoto had right the now. Upper hand in that exchange. Yeah, she's bossy. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Yeah, come on, bro. Come on. We should get in touch with Yusuke. I, she, she, she's blackmailing us, but she's like, you do this, or I'm gonna do this, but don't let me down. Um, if you want your pizza delivered, I'm gonna deliver that pizza, whether it was dropped on the floor, stepped on, or whatever, alright? You're gonna get your pizza. <sighs> alright. Alright, so now, we'll, we'll, I think we might have to go back to do some leveling up, get to the dungeon. I'm really excited for it because it's been a while since I went to the dungeon. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Yes, it's your sister. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Are you saying it. that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? Wait, she doesn't even know what's going on with her sister? You never noticed? <sighs> yeah. Why would Makoto... Why would she not? Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. And there's no limit to your stupidity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. I can't believe this woman. She, she doesn't listen. This is why. Like, adults never listen to young people. <sighs> I'm so mad. The Mafia, hmm. Can we really do this? 
Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? This is kind of hard. We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. That's sus, Yusuke. That would be very suspicious. It wouldn't be, oh, the Phantom Thieves are amazing. It would be like, hey, maybe the Phantom Thieves are bad guys because they seem to just take down another big bad guy. Hmm. Make people believe in us. Guess. I get it. <laughs> that means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? He really wants to get found out. Like, he really wants a catchy to catch them. Idiot. The mafia, huh? Well, yeah. It'd be a pain if they came after you. Mafia? Wouldn't wouldn't it be called a yakuza in? In Japan, like, did they just translate it? Cause I, I kind of would have liked it to be just yakuza, you know. But we don't have to deal with them directly. We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. Two weeks, so six fourteen. We have until the end of June, I guess. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Oh. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. Our school? You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Morgana will back me up. Really? <laughs> okay, not so dependable, but I'll take it. Hey, could I have a moment? Uh, what's up? I had a yearning to see the Sayuri. Did he just... You know you could come visit LeBlanc whenever you want. Like... Indeed. What? Why did I have to walk home with you, bro? Like, you could just visit the cafe whenever you want. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. It, it's good. <sighs> I fear I found myself in quite a horrible mess. What? To put it bluntly, I'm in need of your assistance. Please listen to what I have to say. Hmm... Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, those struggles came to pass on each occasion. Yet, now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I'm trapped in what in the art world call a slump. To tell the truth, like art block, are you aware that I'm attending Kosei? on an art scholarship. Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Uh-huh. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. The, that goal is what drove me onward. What does beauty mean to you, Yusuke? I wanted nothing more than the to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayuri in my own work. Yet what reason do I have now, holding on to my scholarship, keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all, over, are all that spur my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects such impurity of mind. This is so deep. Yusuke is like a high schooler, but his brain is already past the age of school. He's like 25 in his head. To be honest, I'm unsure as to whether I can even call myself as an artist anymore. You seem stressed. You're so tough on yourself. I think he's a bit tough on himself. My apologies. Oh, it seems I got somewhat carried away there.
Yo, this is so deep. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. Sinful. Hmm. I only wish to create a work I can I can be genuinely proud of. I can be genuinely proud of. Please look over there at the Sayuri. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Okay. An elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that? You ask. Ah. Oh. If my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What then is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. To be perfectly frank, I'm unsure how to do so. Um, he's asking me for help. I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll help you, bro. Like, I'm in your debt. How you want me to help you? Do some poses? <laughs> At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. Tuesday, what can we do Tuesday? That's what I'm thinking right now while he's talking. I must go now. My curfew approaches. So this See guy's you. this guy is my social link? What social link is he? What? I checked online and people are talking about it all over. In my expert opinion, Ida of class 2D is guilty. Ida kun for my class? Start at the beginning. What is he guilty of? Supposedly, he's been spending money left and right recently. Said it's cause of some great part-time job he got. I see. That may very well be worth looking into. Ida. Ida. Alright. I'll be counting on you to back me up if something happens. Hell yeah. I'm hoping for some great things this time from Takamaki-san's world-class, wonderful acting. Alright. <laughs> Yusuke has high hopes for her acting as well. Alright. Okay. Whoa! 14 days! So we have to get into the dungeon? Okay, what do I do? TV, TV. So the police are mobilizing to catch the mafia stuff. I was watching television, okay. Have you ever given it any thought? What is justice to you? It's about helping people. I see, that's one way to look at it. But you only perceive what is on the very surface. Huh? Huh? I don't understand. If helping other people is the root of your actions, how is that not deep enough? How is that not deep enough? The boy who was featured in that TV discussion is still in high school. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some stuff. Um, Shibuya Mall. Let me show you guys where I buy my... My... Um, what you call it? The root. The root. Nutrients. I think it was up here. Yes. Oh yeah, I work here too. I'm not gonna work. I'm just gonna buy. What would you like? Um, buy nutrients. It's pretty expensive, but I'll buy two just for now. Mini cactus. Ooh. Uh, what are, what are these? Plant bomb and cork bar. Um, I don't really know where to go. Let's go to the stats. Can I, uh... I'm always forgetting how to check my stats. Social stats. Knowledge. Everything is two. Okay, how do you raise your stats again? For knowledge. 
So you could go to your house and study. You could go to the library. But school's closed. A diner. I think you could study through here. I may be wrong. Does it tell you? Knowledge. Nice. It might be empty since it's raining today. So rainy, go to the diner. Let's go in. Rainy diner. Because if it's raining, you could study inside the diner. Interesting. Uh, coffee with free refills. Loitering may build guts. Kindness. I'm okay with kindness. What's my kindness? No, my charm is three. My kindness is two. Knowledge, dude. Uh, sorry, guts. Guts as well. So I could actually talk back to these people. Oh, but kindness. Kindness may unlock some stuff with girls. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I really want to talk back to some people, honestly. Guts. I need guts. Like, there was an option I remember in the hotel. It was like, talk back or fight back with, like, the goons when Ry Ryuji got hit. But you needed guts. And I, I didn't really have that. Yeah, I'm progressing very slowly into this game. Holy, there's so much things that you can do. A lot of dialogue. I don't want to just blaze through them. Ah, I could read. Yoncha Wanderer. I have one... I have one book. Which book was the one for... That I borrowed from the library so I can actually return it. Pickup artist... Ah... Uh, ooh... Hot spots. Okay, maybe I should do weekend parks. Ah, nightlife. Nightlife it is. Okay. Wow. Seaside Park. Yeah, we need to unlock these spots. Oh. Okay. Oh. Odaiba Seaside Park. Solid place for a date. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Uh, that's very interesting. We're almost at the station and say that was an efficient use of your time. I think so. Ah, uh, maybe I should have chose a book that would ra raise my stats instead of... The rumors are pretty terrible. Don't you think all that blackmail stuff is insane? Uh-huh. Easy high-paying job. Oh, so that's how they scam people. And then they enter into that part-time job, and they're locked into a contract. Ooh, maybe that's it. Then if say yes, you get dragged into some real shady stuff. Okay. I heard she knew about Kamushida and the sexual harassment. She probably won't be too much help. Ooh, everyone's smack-talking Makoto. Yeah. That's actually pretty sad. She she right now, I think Makoto right now is in a checkmate. Um, students, teachers, principals, everything is just pointing at her. She doesn't want to disappoint her family. So, yeah, she's at a checkmate right now. That's why she's looking for help. That Ida guy is here. I'll try and ask him about it. We're counting on you. In any case, let us know if you learn anything. Where is he? Um, Nijimakun, what is going on here? Uh oh. The damage by this so called mafia has been. Uh, has reached our student body. Hmm. <sighs> At this rate, he's gonna lose even more hair. Starting with his eyebrows. I've even received inqu inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. 
This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered, this is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? Um. And I can trust you. You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who's reliable around here. Don't let me down. <laughs> the, the, those words, those words. Don't let me down. Wait a minute. She used those words against us. How does it feel now? How does it feel now, huh? From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at the school. Do you understand? Uh, I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Oh, really? What's falling from the sky is acid rain that can melt metal. Oh, God. Let's test your knowledge and imagination. Give it a try. What would happen if you keep washing your hair with water that's contaminated with metal? Like copper? Maybe lead? No, no. Copper. I know copper... With water that's contaminated with metal. Did we have a problem with that with showering? No. No. You, no. Change color. Sh shining? No, that's ridiculous. You'll get a perm. A perm. You can get a perm if you sandblast your hair with heat. Um, I uh, change color. Good. <laughs> that's it. See, Mr. Hiruta, he knows his hair because he's got nice hair. He knows his hair stuff. Yep. See, if the metal is copper, yep, it will turn green. I can't believe I actually got that right. Nice going. Yeah, these are really easy questions so far. Yeah, we hit really good questions. All right. The ones before, like um, like that there was this dude sitting down in the paper, in the piece of paper, and it was like some Yoshitsune guy. Like, how am I supposed to know that? Or, or, or like the magistrate pose? How am I supposed to know that? What? London had acid rain on the level of stomach acid? <sighs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, Lady An. Oh, right there, Lady An. I'm gonna back her up. Mm, maybe the next episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.